leftover veggies and don't know what to do with them? Make vegetable stock, today on Groovy Gourmet. I've got leftover veggies that I've been keeping in the freezer. Okay. So in here, you'll pretty much find anything that you cut off an end to that you can save. Anything that would go in the compost, like lots of garlic and onion peels, leftover broccoli, cauliflower, kale stems, carrot peels, tomato ends, parsley stems. All of it goes right into the pot to make a really flavorful veggie stock. Here we go. I'm gonna put this big old hunk right into my big old pot. Small girl in a big old pot. Get all the little odds and ends. And I just keep it all in the freezer in a plastic bag until I'm ready to make vegetable stock. Since they're frozen, you don't really have a time limit. Try to make your vegetable stock every couple of months. So I wouldn't want to keep something in there too long because I don't want it freezer burned. But yeah, you're good to go. So you may be wondering, why go to all the trouble of making your own when you can just go buy some? So all of the vegetable stocks that you buy in the store, even the organic ones, have mystery ingredients like natural flavors or spices or different preservatives and sodiums to make it last longer and have a shelf life. So all of those things are actually toxic to your system and they don't really do you any favors. So that's why I prefer to make my own. And it's kind of, you know, doing my part to recycle. All right, so we've got everything in the pot. All the veggies are in there. All that's left to do is add some filter water and then put it on the stove for three hours. And that's it. Okay. Now, this is really cold. Check out all the condensation here. It actually feels really good compared to the hot weather outside. I have filled this up. And now, turn it on, let it simmer with just a very light boil for about three hours. All right, so there it is. All the veggies nicely covered in some filtered water. And that's all that's involved. All right, and presto, homemade organic vegetable stock, 100% goodness. 100% organic, vegetable stock, no preservatives, no additives, all love, and veggies. So I'm gonna turn this on high to get it going. It starts boiling, I'll turn it down to medium. All right, it's been about three hours. We've got a nice, beautiful vegetable stock. I'm not going to taste it right now because I'll add seasonings later when I'm about to use it to make a soup. Right now, I'm just gonna take this and strain it and then jar it up and put it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. I'll do my best, but this is really heavy, okay? The stage. Might splatter a lot now. Mmm, this smells so good. I'm gonna strain it for a second time. Using those muscles. So the last step for your vegetable stock is to put it into sealable jars and freeze it for later use. Make sure you save some space because it will expand when it freezes. Wow. I am getting an arm workout and a core workout doing this. Got my own little built-in gym right here. Going through our triple distillation process. I actually never thought I'd use that term with vegetable stock, but hey, you never know. All right, folks. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five jars. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and let me know how your vegetable stock comes out. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Once again, folks, I will tell you, going to the gym is all about working in the kitchen.